Hello, what's up guys? Today we will be looking at the Sharp 42 inch Smart TV. So this Smart TV has everything that a Smart TV should have such as Google Play. Thus you can install whatever applications that you want such as YouTube, Netflix or Kodi. So we will begin the video by unboxing the TV. So it comes with remote and stand but we will be mounting the TV onto the wall. It also comes with four small screws which you can use to mount the TV onto the wall. The TV also comes with RJ45 port or you can use the wireless function to connect to your network. It also comes with three HDMI ports and two USB ports as well as the ancient antenna port. The process of mounting the TV onto the wall is pretty simple however there are some issues. The TV is supported by four small screws as you can see on the left. Over the right is our old screw and you can see it's much longer and thicker thus it supports our old TV pretty well. We are very tempted to use our old longer screw on the TV but it only supports the smaller screw. Nevertheless, we trust Sharp's design and we use the default screw that comes with the TV. I kind of like the remote that comes with the 42 inch smart TV. You can put it on the standing position or you can lay it down. The design is pretty cool where you can access the major applications from the remote itself. Next, the setup of the smart TV is pretty simple where you can pair the TV with your phone. After pairing up the process, the smart TV will copy all the wireless settings from your Android phone. Open up your phone and say, OK Google, set up my device. Next, make sure your Bluetooth is turned on. Google will then automatically search for the smart TV and automatically pair the device. Make sure you have the same pairing code for both devices. The pairing process is pretty straightforward. Connect your device to the Wi-Fi and copy the settings from your phone to your smart TV. Your phone will then display that the copying process has been completed. Your TV will then connect to the internet and download the necessary updates. Your TV will then reboot after the update process. Proceed with the sign in. The overall smart TV setup is pretty straightforward. Just click yes for most of the process. One important part of the setup is the pairing of remote and the smart TV. Make sure you complete this process or you will not be able to use the Google Voice command. So this is how the Sharp Smart TV looks like after you have completed the setup process. You can access major applications such as Netflix, YouTube or Google Play. To use Google Voice, click on the Google Voice button and speak right through the microphone on the remote. We have tested the Google Voice and it seems to be YouTube. working fine with most of the basic command. Company, YouTube. Overall, the apps on the smart TV seems to be okay. functioning smoothly. As for games wise, you can install games from Google Play which is included in the smart TV. Gameplay is controlled by the TV's remote controller.
You can also do a Chromecast which is a function where you can display your phone into the smart TV. To do that, uh, you will need the same account that you pair with the smart TV. Launch your Chromecast app and you will be able to display whatever that is on your phone into the TV. Overall, we are quite happy with the Sharp 42 inch Smart TV. This TV is priced around 1,100 ringgit, which is around $300. Do subscribe if the review has been helpful. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Can you sing me a song? It's Halloween time, and I'm here to help a werewolf whose howl is more like a yelp. The ghost you with its cheek all wrinkled and stained, a vampire with a cavity? What a pain. Oh, how they feel Stop, so please. sad and Stop, low. Please. All I need to do is serve.